So the first one I'm gonna go over is a specific carbohydrate diet. And so this diet is based off the idea that complex carbohydrates, which are essentially long chains of sugar, are poorly absorbed, leading to an increase in bacteria and yeast, which may damage the intestine. So foods containing long chains of sugar include the foods that are on the foods not allowed list, such as canned fruits and veggies, starchy vegetables like squash and potato, maple syrup, sugar, grains, wheat, juice, and pop. So at current, the research supporting this diet is minimal. We only have a few studies with quite small sample sizes that have assessed this diet, which means that interpreting these results makes it a little bit tricky. Um, and there really hasn't been any long-term studies to date. As you can see, there's also a really long list of the foods not allowed. And that's really important to note because dietary deficiencies can absolutely occur if we're excluding large groups of foods. So in this diet in particular, we wanna be quite mindful of the fact that dairy is excluded, which might increase the risk for calcium and vitamin D deficiency as well as the limited intake of grains, fruits, and veggies may also increase the risk for folate, vitamin A, B vitamins, and vitamin C deficiency. Another important or interesting thing to note is that one of the studies did show that 33% of people lost weight following this diet. And so this is um, important to consider because many individuals with IBD may already struggle to maintain weight. And so we don't necessarily want them following a strict diet that causes further weight loss. Now looking for, there are two studies ongoing right now that are gonna be looking at this specific carbohydrate diet. So one of them is called the DINE-CD study, and it's going to be comparing the specific carbohydrate diet against the Mediterranean diet, um, looking at reducing symptoms as well as inflammation in Crohn's disease. And there is another study going on called the PRODUCE study, and this is a prospective study looking forward. Um, and it's going to compare the effectiveness of a strict specific carbohydrate diet against a modified specific carbohydrate diet in terms of reducing inflammation as well as symptoms in pediatric IBD cases. So I would say Right now, at present, we don't have fantastic evidence to support the specific carbohydrate diet, but it definitely is an area of interest, and there's some more studies ongoing, so I'll be interested in kind of keeping in check with um, those results once they do come out.